Do you want to improve at a quicker pace? Check out getgoodracing.com where I'm offering the most accessible coaching sessions on the market. Now for the track guide. For turn 1 you don't want to brake on this left curb because it's gonna unsettle the car. You're gonna brake heavy here and it's the advantage that you gain by opening up it's offset it by not braking efficiently. So avoid braking on this curb at least with a fixed setup. Brake on the white line and I use as a reference for braking this orange box on the left. I'm braking to 100% and it's important to release the brakes quickly into this corner because you don't want to lock the fronts. You really want to nail the apex since it's important to have a good exit out of this complex of corners. The next corner is almost flat, so keeping the momentum going, keeping a good exit is always gonna be better than gaining a bit on entry. So it's all about the exit, it's all about getting close to this yellow sausage curb. And to do that, notice that I'm braking hard, I'm braking quickly to 100%, and you must reach this 100% in order to brake efficiently, and then trailing so this corner has two stages of braking the first one is just to slow down the car the second one is more to have more weight to the front tires to make the car point and you're gonna apex at this yellow sausage curve you want to be as close as you can to it without touching it and even before going past it you see i'm on, on throttle right now so you're gonna push the throttle and you're gonna cut this curve Whenever you're cutting this curb, do a little bit of lift in throttle, otherwise the car is gonna spin, so doing the lift, now it's full throttle in 5th gear and what I'm doing is I'm keeping it quickly in 5th for a brief moment of time, but when I feel the rear is gonna snap, because you're gonna feel in this corner, is in, in this long right hander, the fighting the rear tires. So when you feel the rear is almost about to snap or whenever you're hearing with the sound the tires too much, do this lift and then be back on throttle. You're gonna get pushed wide, but it's fine because you're gonna carry a lot of speed. For the next corner, brake while using all this curve. This is different than turn one because right now, this is not a heavy braking zone. So you can still brake on this curb without losing brake performance. It's important to open up the corner and to use the drain as a reference. You want to have the antenna on the drain in this corner and it's a spike in the brakes and a long trail and then going on throttle. You want to trail more because the later you're gonna apex the better it's gonna be because otherwise it's gonna get pushed too far on the exit. So building up the throttle right now I want to be on exit at this curb. <coughs> Excuse me. So I want to be at this curb on the exit. And you're gonna manage your throttle in such a way that you will arrive here because this is important. And the next corner depends on having this position and also arriving at this curb means you're getting a lot of speed. For the next corner, what I'm using as a reference for braking because you don't have a lot of reference is the moment that when I have the steering wheel straight. The moment I have the steering wheel straight, I know I can brake efficiently, I'm applying the brakes. I don't have any brake marker, I think this is the best brake marker that you can have because it's always gonna be consistent since your racing line implies arriving at this curve with full throttle and always being at full throttle here, you'll arrive at this curve in the same time. So it's always gonna be the same. You're gonna brake quite hard initially, but it's important to drop the brakes quickly because you're going right now. So you're having a, quite an angle going downwards and turning. The left front is gonna uh, lock, it's gonna lock up. So you want to al avoid locking up the left front in this case, and you can only do this by dropping the brakes. So. In this corner, imagine that you don't trail brake. So dropping it sharply, it's okay to drop it like this. You're gonna cut this a bit of curb and then be back on throttle, building up the throttle and using all this exit. For the next corner, I'm braking at the beginning of this curb and notice that I'm also using this curb to open up. So put your right tires on this curb while turning, dabbing the brake and then back on throttle. And at this point, your 
whole focus is avoiding this yellow sausage curve but instead of adding a lot of steering angle right here because you can possibly spin if you do it or you will scrap speed do it from the throttle pedal so right now i'm doing a lift and then back on throttle this right hander is very fast i'm using as a reference this curve and notice that i'm braking like three percent right now while turning so it's a lift less than five percent braking getting as close as you can to this yellow curb without touching it and then back on throttle. Minimizing the lift is gonna be key here but for the next corner heavy braking zone I'm using as a reference for braking this white pole so before the 50 I'm braking in reality I'm braking in between 50 and the white pole but I'm looking at the fifth at the white pole when doing so and again it's a fast heavy braking zone you're gonna slam the brakes holding it to 100 and then dropping it quickly so you won't lock up and then connecting it with the throttle for the next corner you want to arrive at this curb i do a mistake here so i'm turning from a shallow angle you, can, you should position the car more to the this curb to the left when turning and i'm using third here fourth is gonna be quicker so you can get almost the same rotation with fourth and you will keep the minimum speed up. Aim to use fourth gear in this corner instead of third, even though third is tempting to get the rotation, fourth is gonna be faster. Building up the throttle using all this accent, and in this fast right-hander, it's important to cut as much as possible because otherwise you're gonna get pushed more to the left and you have a curb, a left cur uh, yellow curb coming to you, which is gonna be annoying. So cut as much as you can, even more than what I did. So you will have your left tires uh, not hitting this curb because right now I'm hitting this curb it's unsettling me the car I miss up a bit the turning point that I use too much curb here and I almost crash so I think I didn't lose too much time I maybe lose lost one tenth but this is not sustainable because I almost crashed into this corner avoid this yellow sausage curb because this is gonna be the thing that's gonna make the corner more difficult and you will avoid it by cutting more here so cut more in this corner and then just keep the car straight you will be positioned so that you won't meet this curve if you cut more and then it's just a break and a lift and in short that's a track guide for uh, Barcelona with Super Formula I wish you have a great week ahead and I'll see you on the next one